The ambassador and his family thoughtfully selected a collection of art that explore identity, culture, and agency over historic narratives, a theme that should resonate with both Americans and South African audiences. in which we put art in the residences of ambassadors. Our program started in 1953 uh, in a collaboration with MoMA and it was formalized by John F. Kennedy in 1963. And 50 some odd years later, we are still working with ambassadors to help them curate um, an exhibition for the time that they are at post that reflects who they are. Uh, art uh, is not just um, a visually stimulating thing, visually engaging thing, but also uh, has the power of creating economic opportunity uh, as well for young people, for communities, uh, and for uh, whole countries. It's, a, it's an important way to think about how art has transformed all of us. And the theme for the exhibition and our talk is trans it focuses on transformation. My latest body of work is about finding Finding, finding me, finding, finding myself in, in South Africa, finding myself as a woman of color in South Africa. And, um, and I wanted to tell a different story. I wanted, to, I wanted to investigate the black body, especially the black female body. Uh, the title of this piece is A Terrible Beauty is Born. And um, it was the first um, um, work that I did when I decided to let, let go of Sophie. And hence the, 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 the apron dropping on the floor, um, um, the, the, the headscarf being pulled away by um, um, one of the creatures. Um, so it marks the, the beginning of um, the purple chapter, I like to call it. Okay. Uh, so like this, this image here, this uh, piece is called Sun Spirit. Um, <clears throat> it's a woman wearing a, a Bambara headdress um, and then attached to that thing is a sort of a blue light which is you know me trying to you know make a, not make a comment but bring in the work of uh, Dan Flavin so I was trying to steal it and bring it into my work um, she's wearing a, a across her shirt it's one of those college like shirts that kind of represents what school you went to uh, and this one says Sankori which is an ancient university in Mali like one of the first universities, um, started by Mansa Musa, funded by a black woman. Um, and so for me, like this, you know, ideally this woman went, you know, to that university. Uh, that piece, the idea around that performance, that performance piece, was about building a sense of relationship with the space in which I had to do the performance, which was the Museum of Contemporary Arts in Boston. And the idea was about building these connections, trying to make sense of my being alien to that city and that country. This is a sculpture that I call Lotus. And that flower to me is um, metaphorical to transcendence and going from trial and tribulation to triumph and transcendence. So I refer to that as a Lotus but the closer you get to that lotus, you realize that each of those petals are actually comprised of small diagrams of slave ships. Um, as the viewer gets seduced into this, you know, beautiful lotus diagram, they realize that they're looking at diagrams of slaves being exported, or I should say cargo, being escorted from, um, exported from Africa to different countries. And this is indicative of the North Atlantic trade, um, um, slave trade. So I imagine that this piece, going back to Buddhism and looking at this as a lotus or a mandala, is actually um, a symbol that is used for transcendence from the trials and tribulations of our history, our shared history, and our horrible history to finding a future that might be brighter and more transcendent. To note that um, uh, one, one, something that it took us a long time to appreciate in the States but that we have a full embrace of now uh, is really the ways in which the arts can be economic engines uh, and drivers of transformation uh, on the ground and beneficiation uh, for communities uh, and I hope 
uh, the, the sense of that will really deepen here uh, in the South African uh, markets as well. So these photos of uh, Robert uh, Pruitt and Sanford Biggers and Mary uh, Sabande and Lawrence Lamwale and others uh, working uh, uh, with uh, young people, putting their hands on, on their shoulders and saying, uh, we're here to partner with you and your creativity, I think is going to be uh, a spark that keeps on giving uh, over the course of the next few decades in this country. 